Okay, I've been asked to speak a little bit about hook of the handmate injuries, but we just happen to have a patient uh, this morning who, who had one. Uh, the handmate obviously is one of the bones here in the wrist, and you can see that it has a little protuberance, and that's called the hook of the handmate. It's actually one of the borders of the carpal tunnel, so if you look straight down, you can see my eye, that's exactly where the carpal tunnel lives, and obviously the median nerve and the tendons for the fingers. Uh, this patient presented with pain that radiated from the ulnar side of the wrist, the little finger and ring finger side, and radiating down with some uh, change in sensation. Um, apparently this is from a golf injury or golf swing or golf club, although he doesn't really want to admit that it actually happened in a particular event. Uh, but it has affected his game. Uh, we picked this up on the x-ray by looking at a carpal tunnel view, which is pretty old school, uh, but you could see that there was a small fracture line there. Obviously we'll, we'll consider putting him in some sort of cast or mobilization because it does not look like it's uh, floating, but it is an older type of injury. Uh, I think he'll feel a lot better with some immobilization. Uh, later on, if there was no healing or there was some floating of that bone, then we would talk about excision of that, and it's a relatively small procedure. Uh, I hope that kind of covers a little bit about, in this particular, about this patient and uh, this particular injury.